So what about the training? What are you doing right now? How many players do you have in training? Are there lots of players coming to your training or do you want to integrate new players to your team? In today's video, I'm going to show you a very easy exercise you can use very flexible for all numbers of players in your practice. But there are still some things we have to talk about. So let's dig right into it. Hey guys, welcome on my channel. Hope you have a great day. My name is Martin and this is all about volleyball. Today I'm going to show you a warm-up exercise to warm up very quick, very structured and very focused because we want to have players who concentrate on the practice, who are with you when you talk to them, when you explain the exercises. And therefore this exercise is quite good to start training when you have lots of players but still want to warm them up individually. There are some bad things about this exercise as well because since they are all running around in the gym you cannot watch them all the time and therefore you cannot correct the technique they are using and this is kind of the bad side of this exercise or at all exercises when people are running away after they do a technique and therefore it's always easier if people are standing in place you can watch them a few times and then you can correct them afterwards. And best of it, you stay and watch some more actions and then you can say if it's better or not. This is the way we can correct people or our players and this cannot be done with the one exercise we will watch today. With this said, let's take a look at the exercise. So we did this exercise right at the beginning of the training. What we did before was like an individual warm-up program, some mobilization, some stabilization. The guys did their individual prevention exercise and after that we got in the huddle, we started the practice, I explained the exercise and then we divided the team into two groups, doesn't matter who's on which side since we change position and move around in the gym anyway and then I tossed the ball in and we were bump setting the ball over the net, keep on moving after our ball getting on the waiting position on the other side of the net and everybody could do some more coordination walks, some running, some push-ups if they want to, whatever they need now to warm up probably already using some volleyball techniques. So at this point of the exercise it's quite calm and I still could do some more corrections if I want to since I can spot all the players and watch what they are doing, shouting in to the exercise to correct a technique. But uh, after a few seconds when the ball is flowing quite good, I toss into another ball. So we do this exercises with two balls. So as you can see, now we're going to start moving, hurrying up a little bit since two balls makes the exercise more quickly. Everybody has to focus now and watch where the next ball is going. It's now about ball control and anticipation. Sometimes it's like that, that one ball is played on the right and on the left side. But still the guys have to look where they have to go, where they have to move on the court. You can do some more anticipation exercise if they are supposed to shout the name or the number uh, or the color of the shirt or whatever so you let them watch the other side what happens there and where to play the ball. So depending on the number of players you have in the practice you can do it with even three or more balls you will see in a second and if one ball drops to the ground it's no problem for me the guys know that I just want that the remaining balls are still kept in the game that not every ball is going down on the ground. This would be bad and afterwards we start with one ball again, find rhythm and after a few seconds playing with one ball, the next ball gets into the game and we start hurrying up again. So as already mentioned, for me this is not a technique exercise. You cannot correct the technique. It's more about moving, starting individually with the first volleyball actions getting warm very quick 
Of course, I can do some group corrections, say the general stuff like finding a good position, straight arm movement, using legs and shoulders, something like this. But for me, it's more like starting concentrated, focused and with good ball control. The guys were quite motivated and in a good mood and therefore I decided to do some more game from this chaos exercise. I wanted to play against each other, playing in two teams with two balls moving around as well. And therefore it was like a bump set game, a tennis game with two balls in two teams three guys on the court and after passing the ball over the net the guys had to leave the court and the next player moves in. So in my intention you can do this exercise or this competition game right in the beginning of the training. It's great if the guys already warm up a little bit individually but you have a lot of movement, you have ball control, you can do this small game I showed you at the end. And therefore I think it's a great start into the training because everybody starts motivated, focused and had already some ball control actions. Okay guys, hope you liked this video, hope you liked the exercise. I try to structure my exercises with my training planner. I can write the exercises down in the book and I can make a sketch about how to play or how to work with this exercise and this helps me a lot. To get a good structure in my training if you want to try it as well you can buy this training planner let's say at amazon you will find it there and uh, try it out if it helps you as well as it does for me if you like my video please smash the like button maybe you want to subscribe so you don't want to miss any more videos about lots of exercises and coaching tips i share here on this channel i usually post the video on mondays sometimes on fridays Hope to see you there. Have a great day. Bye-bye.